Hi guys, welcome to a video. This is just a video about my predictions and my thoughts about the couples in Generation Q season two. I'm kind of trying to predict who I think will be endgame by the end of this season. If you've been following my reviews, you know that I have a lot of thoughts. Half of them don't make any sense and that is because I have a little monkey playing the violin inside my brain. As a disclaimer, I don't know anything that you guys didn't know. If I knew something, I would completely ruin my relationship with Showtime and I would share it with you guys, but I don't know anything. Also, this video is very much bias. It's it's definitely centered around Bet and Gigi. I, I can't help it. I'm a red-blooded, Victorian orphan child, you know, I, I, I gotta, I gotta do it. They're my main interests, so that's all I, it's not all I care about in life, but you know, it's close. Let's start with Bet and Gigi. They started this season off quite steamy in several positions, which I appreciated can't talk for anybody else. And it seemed to me that although Bet was hesitant with Gigi, that Gigi knew how to handle her. So it, you know, I think there was potential with this relationship. But then Bet started being very cold and distant towards Gigi and at the same time was still using her to, you know, to get down on it. This implied she never really saw Gigi as serious relationship potential in the first place, but of course she failed to communicate this to Gigi. And naturally this miscommunication upset Gigi. But Gigi of course doesn't hang around and, you know, she had her eyes on a new prize called called Danny. And Bet also had her eyes on somebody else called Pippa. So it seems like Bet and Gigi have gone their separate ways with different women. Their breakup was done in a very awkward way where it seemed that Bet was almost hostile towards Gigi as though Gigi had done something wrong when in reality Bet was the one not communicating that she only saw Gigi as like a physical situation. But let's just chalk that up to Bet being toxic this season and the character assassination they're currently, you know, putting on her. <laughs> so Bet and Gigi went their separate ways and they're currently, as it stands, with new women. But is it over? Well, on the surface, it does appear to be over. It seems like a pretty open shut case. However, when Bet was singing Love Shack, she saw Danny and Gigi and she gave them a look which kind of indicated that she was feeling some type of way about that situation. It definitely didn't look to me like she didn't care, let's put it that way. But the question was, did she look like that out of concern over Danny? Or is it because she has feelings for Gigi that she just doesn't want to come to terms with because Gigi doesn't tickle her boxes, so to speak. But is there any chance of these two being endgame? No, I don't think so. I don't think these two have endgame potential. However, I don't think it's over between them. I feel like there's more to Bet and Gigi than what we've seen, and I wouldn't be surprised if there was some huge twist or some kind of hot mess concerning them at the end of this season. So whilst I don't think they're a kind of happily ever after situation, I mean, they could be, I just, I don't think so at the moment. I really wouldn't rule out any kind of last minute, you know, fuckery. I don't care if people find out. Okay, moving on to Bet and Danny, the ship that never quite sailed, at least not yet. We've basically only really had Bet and Danny crumbs so far this season. That could change in the next couple of episodes, but so far we've just had crumbs. We've just had little crumbs fed to us like we're pigeons and Showtime is the is the pigeon lady from Home Alone 2. We did have Danny saying that she had a very raunchy dream about Bet and you know which validated some of the chemistry between Bet and Danny in season one. Girl, who hasn't had a dream about Bet, you know, just join the join the masses. And of course, like I said about that karaoke scene, whilst Bet was singing Love Shack, it sounds like some fan fiction I wrote. But anyway, yeah, Bet was looking at Gigi and Danny and feeling some type of way and that could have been over Danny but that could have just been concern it may have been jealousy I don't know you know it's really hard to pin down where these two are at because they've not really interacted but what we do know is there is some incoming drama about to go down between Bet and Danny and I don't know what the drama is about but of course Bet doesn't yet know about Danny and Gigi so the thing is she may not 
care, but I don't think she's gonna like it particularly. We've already seen that she feels some type of way about it, we just don't know what and we don't know why. So could these two be endgame? It's very highly unlikely just because we're so late into the season and they've barely interacted, but I wouldn't rule out a last minute kiss and I low-key would enjoy a kiss. I mean, would it be very messy? Yes, but I just, I'm not against it. I'm not against it. Okay, moving on to Bet and Pippa. Pippa is somebody that Bet idolised before she met her and she tracked her down and stalked her healthy. And it was implied that Bet thinks that Pippa ticks all of her boxes. But does she really? And I think this is the question, you know, does Bet need what she thinks she needs? Because what we want and what we need are not always the same thing. So I'm wondering if that's what may happen for Bet. Like she has this idea of the person that she needs, but the reality of that is not always the case words just went away there. I certainly think Bet and Pippa have endgame potential. I think they're one of the stronger contenders to have an endgame. But will it really be that easy for Bet? Is she really just gonna ride off into the sunset with Pippa? After the way that she's behaved this season, is, is it really gonna go down like that? I we also know there's incoming drama between Bet and Pippa, so again, there could be some last minute drama which kind of destroys everything. Uh, there might be some some revelations in the works about Pippa. I like Bet and Pippa, I do think there's potential there. I think I was just a bit worried that Bet seemed to just be behaving in a pretty negative way all season and then just met Pippa and all of a sudden everything's fine. I feel like at some point Bet's old behaviours are going to resurface because she hasn't really kind of sorted herself out and I didn't want her to kind of bring that into a relationship with Pippa because then it's hard to be excited about a new relationship because you just know she's gonna she's gonna fuck it up like you just know that the other question is Vanessa Williams who plays Pippa is she going to come back for a potential third season because if not then we kind of know that they're not end game so do i think these two could be end game yeah possibly i mean there's a pretty strong chance they could definitely end this season together but i just i haven't seen enough of their relationship quite yet i mean bet seems very happy with pippa i also do think they work very well together acting wise and there's definitely a level of chemistry between them they don't really have that emotional connection or that kind of karmic connection that Bet and Tina have but that is not really fair to compare Bet and Tina to like to any other relationship it's just not fair because it doesn't really compare this ship is one of the stronger contenders it is <sighs> and that brings me to Bet and Tina no oh, no 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 oh yes Okay, so at the beginning of the season, it very much seemed that Tina had moved on with Carrie. And to be honest, I I thought that was pretty much a kind of done deal. But then, of course, all that drama happened with Carrie getting drunk and, you know, revealing that she wasn't sure about marrying Tina. So now we're back to square one. Will Bet and Tina be endgame? This ship has the biggest question mark above it. I think it's either a case of saying goodbye for good or having some kind of last minute crazy reunion. You're still the one situation. Is Bet really gonna let Tina marry someone else? You know, can, I can't even envision seeing that on the screen. Even though Generation Q is, is crazy, crazy fan fiction, I still can't see that going down. We know that Bet still loves Tina, but we don't know how Tina feels about Bet. We don't. And from what I've seen, Tina doesn't look that interested in getting back with Bet either. She's just like, she's just not. So I think for me, I'm still in two minds about these two. On the one hand, there's still a part of me which wants wants to see them drop everything and run back to each other and you know give us that kind of fairy tale ending maybe get married again so we can watch the wedding I just, yeah just, just ideas there's a small part of me which wants them back together it still feels a bit odd seeing them with other 
people. I'm not saying I'm not enjoying seeing Bet with other people. That's not that's not what I'm saying because I am. But you know, it's still kind of you know, Bet belongs with Tina. Tina belongs with Bet. But on the other hand, I'm kind of tired. You know, I'm tired of this. It's obviously unhealthy. It's obviously toxic. Tina seems a lot better off with Carrie, and I'm tired of this will they won't they situation. And I'm tired of Bet being toxic. You know, something has to to change. You know, it, it's it's flogging a dead horse at this point. And as much as I I kind of love Bet and Tina. I don't want Tina to be with someone unhealthy. That's just, that's, it's weird. Bet needs to sort herself out. I think this is, I think it all comes down to this. I'm not sure I see Bet and Tina being endgame this season, but I'm very much open to the idea of there being some last minute crazy, crazy drama. So that brings me on to Tina and Carrie. Do I think they're going to be endgame? I guess this kind of ties into what I was saying about Bet and Tina. I still think Carrie might just run away last minute. Yeah, she's obviously not 100% about marrying Tina. I mean, that might be the, the cliffhanger for Tina in the finale, you know? It's also a similar situation to Vanessa Williams because I'm not sure if Rosie wants to do a third season, is going to be around next season, in which case they have to wrap up her kind of storyline this season. Overall, I think Carrie is a lot healthier for Tina. I prefer Tina and Carrie just in terms of them being healthy and, and normal. But I was enjoying that until they decided to make Carrie have some kind of a small breakdown over Bet, And then I was like, oh no, this is just no. But will Tina and Carrie be endgame? Even though I'm an old school Bet and Tina shipper, I wouldn't be mad about a Tina and Carrie endgame. But yeah, it's just, it's really difficult to say. It's so dependent on what happens with Bet which is ridiculous that this new relationship is so to do with Bet, but of course it is, of course it is. So that's gonna be very much a last minute maybe. Okay, moving on to my Persian queens, my Persian babies, my little babies, I love them so much, let's just so get weird about it. Danny and Gigi, my new OTP, my reason for living, my... You get the picture. Okay, I hope these two are endgame. That's all I'm gonna... They're so soft and romantic together and they seem so right for each other and they also deserve each other after the way they've been treated by Bet and Sophie. They do. They're both beautiful souls and I love them. They deserve a happy ending and what I would like personally is for them to be endgame. However, the only possible wrench in the works that I can see is Gigi moved on very quickly from Bet to Danny. There's also a conversation about trust currently going on. You know, did Gigi possibly kind of set her sights on Danny to get over Bet? Or did she do that to somehow, I don't want to say get back at Bet, but just to show Bet that like she wasn't going to sit around and wait for her. And as much as Bet seems like she doesn't really care about Gigi, is that really the case? As much as I want them to be endgame, it wouldn't shock me if there was some possible last minute drama <laughs> involving Bet. So that's Tina and Carrie, which are possibly involved with Bet, and then that's Danny and Gigi, which are possibly involved with, with Bet. But will they be endgame? I hope so. I hope they're endgame. They're my favorite couple in the show. And like I said, it's just my speculation. It's just my thoughts. I don't know, maybe Bet and Carrie are gonna be a last minute endgame. Maybe they need each other, you know? Clearly they both have a lot of emotional issues. As a conclusion, I hope Danny and Gigi are end game this season even if they're the only end game I would love that as for Bet, I feel like she would be better off with Pippa. I feel like she has a chance to start afresh and have a healthier relationship with Pippa. Of course, there's a part of me that knows she belongs with Tina, but you know, it's it's things change, Generation Q, it's just it's just for fun. It's just, it's just what I tell myself. You know, maybe Bet will sleep with Gigi again and then crash. Tina and Carrie's wedding and oh I think I'd enjoy that. Okay guys so let me know your thoughts, let me know your predictions, let me know who you think is going to be endgame, who do you want to be endgame, who don't you want to be endgame. I, I took drama class, ne I've never been to drama school, I've, I've never, I wouldn't fit in there and you have to be one hell of a person not to fit in in, in a drama school. Would it be like a Glee episode? 
nobody knows. Okay, so please do put your predictions, put your thoughts down in the comments. I just, I wanna know what you guys, I really especially wanna know what you guys think about Bet and who Bet is gonna end up with because that is the question. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.